come to the next aspect, the last aspect in the content, which is called as keyword proximity. Proximity. Proximity is uh, keyword proximity is nothing but the the distance between the keywords. Distance between the keywords. Say for example, I'm writing thousand words. So as per the rule, how many keywords can I optimize? Uh, thousand ten. words, ten keywords, ten right? Keywords. So what if the ten keywords are used in the first paragraph only? Uh, does it make ten, any ten. sense? Sentence might look bad. And to interior design, say so you may be thinking like optimizing it. Say like uh, we are the number one interior design company in Bangalore, offering interior design, uh, offering the most affordable interior design services, and we are a team of. Uh, uh, top interior designers, something like that. Only the word is repeating over and over again. Only the keywords are repeating. So that doesn't sound so professional also. So again here, there is no standard thumb rule here in terms of keyword proximity. So give sufficient distance between paragraphs and paragraph, paragraphs to paragraph. Okay. So I would prefer as a thumb rule, every alternative paragraph, alternative paragraph, or uh, every two paragraph ones, it's totally up to you, but make sure it's not too close to each other. Make sure the the words are up to, like sprinkled throughout the page. That's a very good word actually. So it's just like, like make sure the words, what you want to use, the 10 keywords or 40 keywords are optimized or sprinkled throughout that web page. Okay. If it's not possible, you don't have to put them. Okay. So this is what, again, you can still rank through other methods. Okay. Don't worry. You don't have to always build only through content. You will rank. You can even rank through internal links. From other pages, you can use those words as an anchor text and you can give it to that page. You can still rank through that also. Okay. Okay. Thanks. So this is what I want to tell you in terms of keyword proximity. So the distance between keywords, there's no right number here. Every every 50 words or 100 words, you can put a word a keyword and make sure you sprinkle within the pages. Certain times a keyword can repeat twice in a paragraph. If it's required, use it. If it's okay. not required, don't put them purposefully. Okay. Okay. So that is what I want to tell you. The end goal here is the take key takeaway here is make sure you write content for the visitors. So give them the best possible answer on what are the problems, what are the things they're going, what are the questions they're going through their mind, add FAQs, right? That should be your goal. Okay. So it okay. should not be about keywords. And then you try to sprinkle here and their keywords so that you Google will understand this page is about that because you have already told sufficient places in your web page where and all you should be using, you'll be using the keywords to give examples of where you have used keywords. So we can check all these things which we have talked about keyword optimization. Now can you see here? So you already told a to Google, what is that page about in title, description, URLs, heading tags, all text and anchor text. These are the core areas. These are the most important areas where you use the keywords, which also called as keyword prominence. Now coming to here, keyword density, make sure the word count, you take right more than your competitors and make sure you keep keyword density less than 1% or 1% or maximum 1.5% and make sure you don't focus on keywords, focus on the best possible answer because Google wants to show the best possible answer. And the last one is keyword proximity. It's nothing but the distance between the keywords. Make sure you sprinkle throughout the page so the words are optimized throughout the page.